Enershelf aims at improving access to health services and access to sustainable energy solutions in Ghana. To achieve that, we work together in a team of economists and engineers and we are looking at solar energy solutions in Ghana and in particular solar energy solutions for health facilities in Ghana. Yeah, and from the engineering perspective, what we um, improve is um, photovoltaic systems um, using batteries and being connected to diesel generators and we uh, consider user acceptance in our developments. We also consider load patterns which are different depending on the size of the health facilities and we consider the weather conditions which are very different in Ghana, like for instance compared to Germany, where you have dust storms, you have uh, wet seasons, dry seasons, and you have to consider that for planning, designing the systems, but also for managing the systems. Um, and that's what we in investigate into. From an economist perspective, we address a political economy of sustainable energy solutions in Ghana. And what does this mean? We would like to understand those factors, such as political factors, cultural factors, economic factors, which drive the transition towards sustainable energy or which impede the transition towards sustainable energy solutions. And we work on two different levels. We work at the political level and we would like to understand the political feasibility of institutional change supporting um, solar energy solutions in Ghana. And then we also address the market level and there we uh, would like to understand the perspective of end users, health facilities and also providers of solar energy um, solutions, what motivates their decision to adopt solar energy. So we do not only have a very diverse project team, but in addition to that, we also would like to engage with stakeholders beyond academia, policy makers, um, private sector actors in Ghana, in Germany, but also elsewhere. And we would like to engage in a dialogue in order to understand in how far the results we have in this project for Ghana, for the health sector, might also be transferable to other sectors, for example, the education sector, or also applicable to other countries. And we believe we can only achieve that if we work closely with practitioners and policymakers who bring in their perspective. And uh, another point is what we would like to understand is the interaction between the technological change and the institutional changes. Um, because this is something that's not straightforward. Uh, it's not a one-way direction, but they influence each other. And um, we believe that what we learned from that project might also be helpful to understand um, transition in other sectors and uh, in other technological contexts. Um, and this is something we are very interested in.